Hi, it's Ruth here, and I want to talk about COVID-19. Um, as some of you may know, I'm just recovering, or I've recovered more or less from the virus, um, but I still have a bit of a persistent cough. So as a physiotherapist, we're trained in cardiorespiratory physiotherapy, which is chest, lungs, heart. So we are uniquely experienced in helping. I also have personal experience with, re with uh, bronchitis. Uh, almost every year, I seem to get it at Christmas when I get too stressed out and do too much. So I also have some tricks from personal experience as well. So if you have COVID-19, um, you may find that you still have a persistent cough. The uh, one thing that they're noticing is that a lot of people have asthma that's new to them as a result. It may not be permanent, but it is there. That's that dry hacking cough and you're just coughing more and more and you can't really seem to get stuff out even if you don't have any phlegm to get out it's a self-perpetuating cough it's no fun it can stop you from breathing and if you have any incontinence it can trigger that so the ventolin inhaler is an important one this is the one where you shake it up a couple of pops and you and hold your breath for 10 seconds and usually people have to do it twice unfortunately this one's out of stuff but um there's a chamber that goes with it that you can use if you're finding that's difficult to do there's an orange puffer as well that's a steroid inhaler that is also beneficial but it's not the rescue medication that's more of one you take on a regular daily basis this one is the one when you're in crisis you're having that hacking cough and you're like help me i i'm gonna urinate or something's going to happen or I'm going to vomit. It's that bad. So I don't wait for it to be that bad to take your puffer. Um, but, and, and then what happens is this is called a bronchodilator. So it helps to open your airways up and allows you to actually have an effective cough to re and, and so then you're not just kind of perpetuating the problem. Very important. The other thing too is the mucus in our bodies can be kind of thick. Drinking lots of water helps, hot liquids. Uh, if you like tea, that helps too. I like using this Mucinex product. I don't get any sponsorship for this, but Mucinex works really well. The guaifenesin in it is something that helps to thin mucus and it has been very effective. I'm gonna take a short break because I'm about to cough.